All right, so we're out of rental. He's had another contractor saying it needed to be replaced. Let's see what's going on. Turn the thermostat on. Thermostat's on. I didn't throw my tape back in here. Slow fashion will call for heat. Let me just make sure I got it on. Okay. One, two, three. What? One, two, three. Three. Oh, it's just like the. Pressure, pressure switch. Yeah, here we go again. It's like the nasty attic call. Just had a video on this. But that was a control board. which don't work. Okay, the pressure switch is making. Pressure switch is making, I'm pretty sure that three, three flashes pressure switch air, but you can clearly see 27 volts, 27 volts, clearly see pressure switch is making. I am most certain it's the control board.
Let me go grab. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me go, let's go grab a, what I use on these trains, or American Standards is, uh, I use that White Rogers 50 M56843. That board gets me out of a lot of crap. And the previous video I had with the nasty attic furnace, um, I had to go back there the next day, and it was a control board. It was the same, same darn thing. Now I got to find the board. I know I had one or two of them in here. Oh, there it is. I know I. And I can't remember. I can't remember if this has got a 120 igniter or 80 volt igniter. So I'm going to change the igniter too. We'll see. I can't remember how old this thing is. But that's it, baby. That'll get you out of some crap. And when that's what we're going to do today. A little windy. And this is heat only. Let me just make sure. Let me make sure nothing else is on that. Pressure switch. Better motor. Pressure switch. Yellow, orange. No, it doesn't go through anything else. Sometimes on down flows, it will go through another limit in the back in the blower I think that's bad Come on, another contractor said the whole furnace needs to be replaced. Yep. American Standard train need the jumper. And the jumper goes right there. jumper on there like so and I don't think I need any other harness I don't Neutral 
just put it on there. It's an 80 or a 100, so Niter comes in the box. You can never remember on these sure light boards what's what. Tied up, we got enough there. Oh, I cannot see. Oh, 
it. No, is it? No, that's the right screw. do this. Get it started back up. sensor up. Let's try it again. Oh boy, I got a mess. These boards work for everything. So. Jeez, I got a mess. was a second opinion let's put it that way we do uh we do some work with this landlord he owns a lot of houses around here and he's got other contractors there's no way he can just use one contractor it's impossible but uh i guess the other contractor's been telling him 
and a lot of his houses. He basically owns, I think he owns this whole street. And there's uh, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like 16 duplexes, or no, eight duplexes, 16 houses. Um, and what this other contractor saw him, every, every one that he goes to, oh yeah, the furnace needs to be replaced. The furnace needs to be replaced. So then he started calling us out. And the furnace doesn't need to be replaced. It needs to be repaired. There's nothing wrong with that furnace. Yeah, it's old. You know, does the landlord want to put furnaces in all his new units? No, because, I mean, that cuts into his profit. And uh, that sucks. But I'm not going to lie to the guy and say, hey, yeah, you, you know, your furnace needs to be replaced just because the board's bad. It's not the way you operate not the way you operate you only replace a furnace when it needs to be replaced or the the cost of repair outweighs the cost of the furnace or is you know you know what i'm saying you can't be dishonest that's one thing you can't do is be dishonest in your uh your business it will catch up with you it will bite you in the ass um so that's one thing I never, ever do is lie to a customer. There's no reason to do that. If you're just trying to make a quick buck on a commission, you know, a sale, shame on you. You shouldn't do it. Um, so that's it for this one. That's a quick change on the board. I ran into this problem uh, pre, uh, a few videos ago, the nasty attic furnace. And... I thought it was I thought it was just the connection on the board and you guys seen that in the video but I had to go back the next day and it was shooting a pressure switch uh, issue again same thing this was doing same board same everything and uh, come to find out it's it's a bad board so and you could see the back of that board it was toast so we just got it changed out to uh, that white rogers universal board which that's a lifesaver it really is because i use that on a ton of furnaces and uh instead of running the supply house and grabbing the correct board i just throw that in i mean it's you know it, it tells you everything in the instructions you know but i've no you know i've been doing it long enough i use i use a ton of these boards that that little jumper for American Standard and Train, I think I think a York needs it too, if I'm not mistaken. It's like a rollout jumper or something, and that needs to be in the board. If you didn't put that in the board, you'd pop a code for rollout. So that's it for this one. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.